A couple of weeks ago, NASA's newest Mars rover, Perseverance, made landfall on the red planet and immediately started sending back images like this. Looks pretty cool, right? Peaceful, maybe even pleasant? Well, I gotta tell you, the weather on Mars is anything but. We're exploring another planet's atmosphere in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. First, let's get our bearings. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun, one position farther out from our home planet here on Earth. It's one of the so-called terrestrial planets, meaning it's made of rocks and minerals similar to Earth. So the land surface of Mars may look familiar, but the atmosphere compared to Earth's is anything but. For starters, it's a lot thinner than Earth's atmosphere. By weight, Mars's atmosphere has 1% of all of the gas molecules that Earth's atmosphere has. And what little atmosphere there is, is almost completely made of CO2. Less than 1% of the gases on the red planet are oxygen molecules. For comparison, Earth's atmosphere is 21% oxygen. Here on Earth, our relatively dense atmosphere and all of the gases that make it up help to trap and absorb heat from the sun, and that heat helps to keep our planet warm enough to sustain life. Mars's atmosphere, by comparison, is much thinner and just can't do that. So the average temperature on Mars? Minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's an average, though. A thin atmosphere means that Mars experiences huge temperature extremes. A summer afternoon near Mars' equator may get up to an idyllic 70 degrees, but a midwinter night, negative 220 degrees. Kind of makes our weather here this time of the year seem pretty tame, right? Well, those big temperature fluctuations on Mars can trigger some pretty big pressure differences. And I don't care what planet you're on, when there's a pressure difference, that's going to trigger wind. On Mars, winds can reach up to 60 miles per hour, and on a dusty planet like Mars, winds mean dust storms. According to planetary scientists at NASA, a typical year on Mars can see at least one dust storm that would cover an entire Earth continent and last for weeks. Every few Martian years, or about five and a half Earth years, a dust storm can grow to cover the entire planet. What I find really cool is that those global dust storms on Mars actually become too large to survive. You see, Earth and Mars both have weather for the same exact reason. Incoming energy from the sun heats the surface of each planet a little bit differently, and it's those temperature differences that lead to the pressure differences that lead to the weather. So if dust is blocking out all of the sunlight, well, the unevenness dissipates, things stabilize, and the storm itself dissipates too. Perseverance, or Percy for short, is designed to be able to take the first measurements of wind direction on Mars. Other weather instruments will track pressure, relative humidity, as well as dust and water content in the air. Scientists hope to use that data to study Mars' alien weather patterns. That data will hopefully lead to more evidence in the quest to find life-supporting water on our nearest neighbor. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek.